confused about ratios and how to make money on them. We're going to, we're going to clarify right now. Go for it, Neil. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're in a unique situation on, on this chain because we have two big assets, Pulse and PulseX, that have the biggest liquidity pool on the chain, right? It's over $50 million in Pulse and PulseX in the yeah, 52 million in liquidity. Okay. And <laughs> they're tied to each other so well that and Richard wants them both to succeed, that we have an opportunity here to do something that probably doesn't exist on Ethereum. Now, a ratio is a ratio. So whether it's between stables or, at, or, or assets that are, are volatile like these, it's still a ratio. But the difference between, like say, two stable coins and two volatile assets like this is that the, the, the range it moves is different. So you know uh, stable coins stay within about a dollar, so you're only going, you know, a small up to maybe one, one and a half, two percent above and below peg. That's just typically your range there, max, usually less than that. But with volatile assets, the ratios can swing wildly. We went, we were, when we talked last time, we were at 3.75 ratio. We were at one pulse, got you 3.75 pulse X. Today, one pulse gets you at this moment, I think around 2.4 or 6. It's a big difference. All right. So if you wanted Pulse X, you should have bought it three weeks ago with your Pulse. You'd have got a lot, way more Pulse X than you'd buy it today. So people understand that. So I'll do the quick math rule. It's just basic math. If, if, from, if, if three weeks ago, one Pulse was 3.75 for each, for what, I mean, uh, excuse me, you could trade one Pulse to get 3.75 Pulse X. And then the ratio changed, and now you can only get 2.6. And you did trade it. You could take the 3.75 and trade it today and get more pulse if you were in pulse X than you had at the end of the trade. So it's two trades pulse to pulse X, then pulse X to pulse. And you made about a 17% gain in your trade. Big so difference. Walk, walk us through that with an example, like, like literally. Like what size do we go to? Like all that stuff. How do you actually execute this opportunity once you how do you identify it and then how do you execute as soon as you do? Okay, so here you are, deck screener, and we're and we and you click in the upper right, there's a thing that says USDC slash pulse. If you click it from if you by by default, it's on USD terms. You click it to pulse terms, you see the ratio of pulse to pulse X on the far right uh, vertical column. And we can see on this image, we see that it's went. Um, it's on my, on, my, on my phones. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember the numbers. It's around 3.39 to 0.41, I think is what you, what you got up there, thereabouts, which is roughly a 3% difference. So in this particular snapshot, which is only about, I think, about two days here I'm looking at, uh, Pulse has moved through this range one, two, three, four, five, six, eight times. Eight times. If you just set a limit order using Omnis, you can start it with Pulse, trade to Pulse X, went back to Pulse, went back to Pulse X over and over again in the 3% range. Four, you'd have four trades and you'd have had 12% increase in your bag size, regardless of the price. You're silent on my end. Sorry. Uh, go to uh, omnis omnis.tetra.run and okay. then from go to from swap to limit order. And then here you go from uh, what we pulse or pulse X to. It, it, yeah, it don't matter. Just just hit click, click pulse. Just use regular pulse. Just go pulse to pulse X. Yeah, you, and you can see if you go hit one, just put a number at the top. It don't matter what you put. All right. If you go to the bottom, it says. The, the double arrows, it says pulse X per pulse. Click that. All right. Now you see it says put right just a little bit better, half percent better than the current market rate is 0 0.04. That's the current ratio. If you go back to deck screen and you'll see that's where you are on the chart, real close to it, right? We're almost right there at the pr current price is 0 0.40. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now if you go back to Omnis and say, I want to be better than that. So if you go and move the slider, move the slider over to hits three percent. 
The next price point from here is 0.39. So if the price goes down, right, and you get that ratio, you'll get more pulse X for pulse. But right now, pulse will probably pump. So if you flip, invert your trade, right, invert your trade, go pulse X on top, right? And put some numbers up there. All right. Right now, the ratio is point is two point four eight. Now it don't show this on deck screener because it's you can I guess you can click it at the bottom. It's the same thing. You just click the bottom. Yeah, still point four zero. Now go three percent again. Point point zero four one. What's the top of our chart on deck screener? Point zero four one. Right, they're close close to it. Are you talking so, about the, where it is now or where it was in the where, range? Where it was, see? You can hit that top. Or maybe it's point, I, or maybe it's 2.5%. Whatever the math is on this. The point is in this is if you just started with Pulse, went to Pulse X, now your Pulse is going back to Pulse. When it goes back up, you'll, make, you'll get more Pulse for your, for your original trade than you started with. 3% more, you see? So if you were, for the previous trade we were looking at, we were trying to get it for 0 0.39. And now... Um, we're so if we had it for that, we would be able to see the ratio went up from mm -hmm. there and then sell it and then make the difference. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So all you're doing is you're swapping back and forth, but each time you're doing it, you're, you're, you're buying low and selling high, but you're just swapping the assets and you get more of the other asset. And because we, because they're bonded together really tightly, they're not going to deviate too, too far. You know, I think three, I think I want to say four to one was the maximum it went in the highest volatility very early on. And when it's closest, almost two to one. So that's a pretty good difference in, in, in ratio terms. And for a long time, we went from 3.5 to 3.75 before the pump. So these are opportunities you could use, these tools like Omnis and these limit orders to increase your positions. And just you just gotta look at your chart and see where the, the ratio range is. And say, okay, well, I, either, either you have maybe a, a bag of each in your wallet, you trade your bag for the other asset at the ratio, and then when it goes the other way, you trade the other way. And you just keep doing that over and over again, and you just increase your bag size. It won't so, cost so, you anything, some gas. So, for example, here, if, we're, if we see, okay, it went down to, you know, 03943, or, uh, <clears throat> sorry, 03943. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that right? 3943. Um, and then we say, okay, went there before. Now it's up here. I want to catch it because I think it's, you know, maybe I think it'll go more. Maybe I think it'll just go back up here. It'll kind of, you know, go within this range. You know, like we talked about before, I think it's going to go up here. Then I set a limit order to catch it when it's low. Mm -hmm. And then could I set another limit order to sell it when it goes up here again? Well, yeah, it, if you have, let's say you have two bags, this works with two bags. Like you have a bag of pulse and bag of pulse sacks, right? You, that's what you do. You set, you sell one at the top of, and you buy one at the bottom and you reverse that. When they when they complete, you see, and that's the that's the trick. If because all you do is trading assets from one from the other by using the ratios. Don't worry about dollars because they don't know what the dollars are. Ratios are ratios. They don't care about dollars. You see, and then right now people are buying Pulse X up because they're speculating that they're waiting for earn protocol, right, and all these other things. And so, but we know that there's three times as much Pulse X there's Pulse in as far as in circulation in the market and stuff. And so that's that's maybe so three to one is probably about what it should be in, in overall ratio terms as far as supply, but that you deviate from that uh, that that ideal ratio because of speculation and market volatility. So these are opportunities that people can use these tools like Omnis to to set these ratios because they could be going doing both sides and increasing their bag of both Pulse and Pulse X, and it's and it's basically risk free because either it doesn't deploy. Or you get more of the other asset. I mean, how can you go wrong? Because they're both going to go up in value because they're both being pulled up with bond liquidity. Amazing. And, and how much? So I guess that's the other point here too. Is why should people pay attention to it? Like, how much? How much you, can you actually make doing it? Is it is it worth doing it, or is it just? I mean, like this five percent yield, ten percent yield. Like, how much do you think per month? Somebody deploying this strategy, just setting limit orders. How much could you make if there's with the volatility you've seen with the pair so far? Well, today or within the last two days, you could have made twelve percent. So go make twelve percent in, in in two days anywhere else. 
when you're on your bag size, not dollar value, bag size, big difference. I mean, that's a lot, you know? So if you did watch the chart and saw the activity and set your limit orders, I, mean, I got some de been deploying all day long. I've been watching this myself. So, I mean, I never not have a limit order on, on doing this because you're leaving money on the table when you do. If you're not using limit orders for these two assets and trying to trade the, trade the, trade the, uh, the spread on the, on the ratio, you're, you're, you're losing money. I mean, you might as well, it's free money. It's, it's literally free money because it costs you nothing. There's no risk because you can end up with one or the other. And both are great products. Both are going to go up in value because of RH. You know, it's kind of like, it's almost like, you know, trading EHEX and PHEX. They, they do the exact same thing with the ratios with it. Except it's a little different because the whales can manipulate this, that more so than this. But even HEX, you add HEX to the mix, you could have a three-way uh, trade, HEX, Pulse, and Pulse X. And you could do it's the exact same thing if you want to add HEX to the mix at another dynamic. But it takes a little bit more thought and uh, planning to do that. This is so hit, so hit this one home for us real quick too. Again, everyone listening who some may be confused or otherwise just kind of, you know, elevator music right now. Once you complete this trade, once you get, you know, get it lower and you sell it higher, you've increased your back size, let's say yeah, 10, 12%, whatever it is, uh, the end up making. Again, the disconnect there is how much more money did I make? Can you try to just make that clear for people? How much more money did I make by doing this? Well, it's a function. So the dollar value at the end of the day, right? Because this is a ratio trade, increasing token count, not a, how much money did I make? That, that, that will only be what the price is that day. So at the end of this trade, you made 3% more tokens. What's 3% of Pulse X times the current, or how, your bag times the price. That's how much money you made. Let's just say the price has stayed the same or, or went up or whatever. So you, you just made 12% more. You, you have uh, a million Pulse X, you have a million Pulse, and then you do this trade and now you have, you know, uh, 12% more, more or 12% more, more, whatever. More. whatever. Yeah. yeah you, it's one trade be 3%. You get 3% more in dollar value because you tokens went up 3% in token count. That's just, it's that, it's that number, you know, whatever your token, your bag size is. See, people have a hard time separating USD value because that's what everybody sees versus the ratios that are on the charts. I mean, do dollars are okay. And the only time dollars really count is when you want to exit the system. That's it. You only care about dollars when you want to leave. When you're in it, you want to inc increase your positions, right? How many tokens can you get? How many units can you acquire while you're in the system? And doing ratio trading, this is how you acquire units. The more units you have at the end of the day, when, say, you're top of the bull, then you have a lot more money because you acquired a lot more units that appreciate in value. So this is kind of one of the, like, the no-brainer ways to use, like, these limit order tools with the Omnis to, to really increase your position with, with, with zero risk. I mean, you pay a small fee and some gas, and then now you went up three percent in your bag size. I mean, that's that's just that simple. So this today was an ideal a, ideal day to do this. You could have made, you know, to, up to well, at least nine percent in your bag size if you'd have traded this just a three percent range and been conservative. Now, if you'd went back up into the high at that forty four, you could have made even more on that one trade. If you'd have, you know, if you'd have sold the top and bought that bottom, you'd increase your position by you know, whatever that, that distance is. I don't, I can't look at it from here, but. Yeah, it's around uh, 44, 35. Yeah, 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 carry your blue blue box up. See what that, that percentage is. Yeah, around 8%. Eight, you'd have 8% on that one trade, say. So that those are just, these are opportunities that present themselves. If you zoom out and you kind of uh, look at the, do your own TA and see the path of the chart, you can then say, okay, well, it's been kind of running this range for the last couple of days. I'll play, I'll try to do this, say, say a three to 5% range or whatever, or 1% or 2%, whatever your, your risk tolerance is or where you think you need to be to kind of reset your ratio. Because once you make one trade, you got to make another to be back in better position, right? That's why it's important to have two bags. If you took a hundred bucks and put it in, bought, in today in market bought Pulse, Pulse and Pulse X and have two different bags and you traded each one based upon that percentage, 3% one way or the other, you should be able to increase your positions and then move it around every time they deploy, then move it, watch it, watch your positions, adjust your ratios and do the same thing. And you should be able to easily acquire and, and your, your, uh, your tokens and increase your position over the long term. And 
Talk about the comp compound limit orders that are coming too. How does that make this uh, even even easier? Um, it's just going to allow you to uh, do the second part of the trade. That's all. It just it'll just like in this one you want to say, hey, I want to buy it at point four two four one, um, and I'm gonna sell it at or or, or or whatever and sell it at point four four. Okay, there you go. That I just do it in one action instead of two. I like just, one click. Yeah, like just one. makes it just makes it a little simpler. That's all. Wow. And so let's say that you put a position. You know, you put a thousand dollars in in for uh, a limit order. And it hit the ratio, you know, maybe partially got filled. Would it just keep, you know, it gets filled a little bit and then your limit order stays there until the expiration. And then if it does it again, it'll get filled a little bit more. And eventually you'll look and see your bag size has changed, you know, for the, for, for the good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you should be able to track it. If you go to order history, you start off with say, you know, a million pulse and you trade and you get whatever it is in pulse X terms and you trade back, you should get more than a million pulse you know, the second time after that, the second one deploys, right? And now you have say 1 point, you know, 3 million, you know, pulse, or whatever it is, or 1.03 million pulse. And you trade that back and you go back again. Now you have 1.6, you know, and you trade it again. Now you have almost two, you know, or whatever it works out math wise. You say, you keep doing that and your pulse bag gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you do the same thing with pulse acts. You just do the opposite. And if you, that's why it's important. If you have two bags though, they both can deploy simultaneously based upon whichever side you're on, you see. And so that, that was the beauty. That's the beauty. You, they, 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 they're moving as a, as a, as a, say if a big candle comes up, you may buy one, sell the other. And a big candle comes down, does the opposite. You see, that's, that's kind of how you got to think about it in those terms. Um, and it's really a, a simple way to use these limited, limited order tools to uh, increase your positions without and bring fresh capital to the market.